Hey there, I'm Jensen. Today is Friday, June 25th, and I have all the stories you need to know to get in the loop tonight. First, former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin was sentenced to 22 and a half years in prison for the death of George Floyd. Chauvin was found guilty in April of second-degree unintentional murder, third-degree murder, and second-degree manslaughter. There were aggravating factors in the sentencing, the fact that the former officer's killing of George Floyd happened in front of children back in May of last year. But Chauvin's attorneys had begged the judge for mercy, saying he's been cooperative with the court and will remain law-abiding if he was released on probation. Floyd's family spoke to the court before the sentencing was handed down this afternoon. It is humanly impossible for me to stand here and convey or articulate the right words that would capture all that we are feeling. You may see us cry, but the full extent of our pain and trauma will never be seen with the naked eye. Chauvin and the three other Minneapolis officers charged also still face federal civil rights charges. And Donald Trump's company could soon face criminal charges. It all stems from a long-running investigation into the former president's business dealings. The New York Times reported that charges could be filed against the Trump Organization as early as next week related to fringe benefits the company gave to top executives like the use of apartments, cars, and school tuition. Now, no charges have been filed yet in the long-running probe, but prosecutors have been scrutinizing Trump's tax returns, subpoenaing documents, and interviewing witnesses, including Trump insiders and company executives. And some big changes are coming to Windows users. Microsoft is debuting Windows 11, which is its first major update in six years. Windows 11 would be available by the end of the year and will be a free update if you have Windows 10. Changes include a new start button, a revamped taskbar, and features to boost your computer speed. Now, I don't know if I care too much about a new start button, but the increased speed is definitely a welcome change in my book. And Conan O'Brien wrapped up his TBS show last night after nearly 11 years. Before that, the comedian hosted late night programs on NBC, but left that network when Jay Leno returned to his old slot. O'Brien has hosted a late night show for 28 years, and that's second only to the absolute legend of late night TV, Johnny Carson and his 30 years. Now, to be clear, Conan is not quitting TV. He's actually moving to HBO, where he's slated to host a weekly variety series starting next year, which honestly sounds like a perfect fit for him. I absolutely love that. And the ninth Fast and Furious franchise crashes into theaters tonight. It's just never going to stop, is it? Vin Diesel's character reunites with his estranged brother, played by John Cena. Sorry, I won't do that again. The movie industry is hoping Fast and Furious 9 will get people back into theaters, as this one you can't see on streaming services, so bummer. And before I go, we got an exciting update from Cedar Point today. Cedar Point is returning to daily operations through Labor Day and capacity limits of the park will soon be lifted. The park had been closed most Tuesdays and Wednesdays in June due to a labor shortage. Now, most Cedar Point nights will end at 10 p.m., leaving more time for rides and nighttime activities. On July 4th, Cedar Point will be open until 11 p.m. for the Light Up the Point fireworks display. Plus, starting July 1st, capacity limits will be lifted through the end of summer. Reservations will no longer be required to visit the park, but you will still need a reservation for Cedar Point Shores, so keep that in mind. But that is all I have for you today. If you like this video, hit that like button, and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Jensen, and now you're in the loop.